the burnt bulb that we pulled out already. Well, basically there's just a filament right in there that was burnt out. So it's got the three prongs. The top prong was up when it goes in. The LED one is a little bit longer overall, so we'll see if it actually fits in the housing. All right, so I already took uh, the passenger side one out here, but basically you have to move this little vent piece out of the way. And then down in there, this is pretty hard to see, but there's a uh, <clears throat> tab right here. And on this tab, you're just gonna push down on it. It's up. And you're gonna see that, feel this hub to start to turn. There we go, so I push down on it, and this boot pops out. That's on this, these tabs here. So this little wire piece is what's gonna hold that light in position. Let's put some of this bulb grease on the prongs just to prevent corrosion, uh, keep things protected from water. I'm kind of looking through from the headlight. It's like it's in position. And then we'll push this uh, wire clip back over it. And it should catch in here somewhere. That's probably the hardest part. And you just kind of have to feel it get in there and catch on it. Okay, so that wire clip should be putting pressure on it so that it's holding the, the bulb in position there. So it seems like the LED fits behind that little hood that's within the he headlight assembly. So that's a good sign. Okay, one more idea here. I think what I'm going to do now is just connect it with it already through the boot. So I've got my cable pulled through the boot. And I'm going to go ahead and get this on to the bulb. Okay, so I've got it on the bulb. Open is counterclockwise, lock is clockwise. And I'm gonna bring the boot back up into position here. And top clicks in and then I'm just gonna use these tabs <coughs> to go clockwise or right and get it locked in position. <coughs> All right, so there we go, got it. Plugged in, so that's the way to do it. You plug it in with the plug through the boot. For the passenger side, we just gotta put this little uh, airflow thing back in. This tab goes underneath here. I think it, there used to be a little tab that held this in, but the headlights have been changed so many times that that's lost. Okay, it just slips over and goes right there. I think this tab may have gone through that one. For the driver's side, um, I almost think the driver's side is a little bit harder because the relay box is so close to the boot. But similar, we're going to grab this tab and we're going to move it counterclockwise. Actually, I think that's, that's clockwise. It should be the other way. So that way, and finally felt it release. Okay, so I got the boot off. Now you gotta pull the plug off pretty much at the same time. Which is also a pain. There's just not much room to get your hand in here. There we go. All right, you got the plug off. The boot's off. And there just is this little metal clip. Kinda just feel the clip here. You know, none of the videos really show you this clip because it's really hard to see. There's a little tab on the clip and you just kind of push it down towards it and then it kind of releases. And that clip is what's holding in the headlight. There's barely enough space there to get the headlight out. So this one is actually still good but we're just going to go ahead and replace it right now with the LED. Okay, just a little bulb grease on there. And this tab is gonna be positioned up towards the top. 
So these two on the sides, and that one will be up. Just getting it in there is a chore. I'm not dropping it. Okay, and again, it's, it's actually really helpful to look at it from this side. As you can watch as you're getting the headlight positioned in there and you can kind of feel it when it's in the right position a uh, little edge on there sits in it sits in there nicely okay once you get it to there and you're kind of holding it then you got to get the clip back on kind of just got to feel it until it does what it's supposed to do it's basically a spring clip so you got to Get the tension on there, and then the little tab is gonna lock down. So you're pushing it in and kind of down. And then once you get it right, headlights sitting in there on that spring clip. Okay, and then same on the other side. You've got the top marked. Open is to the left, lock is to the right. So I'm gonna go ahead and be putting the plug in through here first made it a lot easier so I'd put the plug through the boot all the way through the boot and then I'm gonna go ahead and plug this into the headlight this one everything about this side is trickier okay I got the plug on it is not easy it is pretty tricky it's pretty tempting actually to just take this Maybe I can take this lid off. Oh, there you go. If you take this lid off, that might help a little bit. All right, now I've got the plug on. Before I put the boot on, actually, I'm gonna go ahead and test to make sure the headlights are working. Two LED headlights, fully functional. So now we're gonna get the boot back on. All right, so now we'll go ahead and try to get this boot on. So position it near the top, and we're gonna be trying to go clockwise so that's going to be this way to the right kind of just move it around until it starts clicking in yep okay felt it click in once it clicks then you're going to kind of use these tabs to keep pushing it to the right there we go and you got to kind of hold some pressure on it while you turn it just to get it started this one's a little bit harder than the other one for some reason on this car Okay, got it on there. Um, so both boots are back on, headlights are installed. We'll do a little test at night to make sure these LED lights are working, or kind of show you how they work at night and how the light goes across the road. Hopefully, the main reason for doing this is that I don't want to replace the headlights again for a while, and these LED headlights are supposed to last a lot longer than the uh, the other normal Sylvan Phillips and Sylvan, the other normal headlight brands. The light produced is definitely a little brighter and wider than the old halogen bulbs. I got a couple of people's opinions on them when I drove it at night, and they did not think they were too bright or blinding. They said it was like the headlights on a new car. I will update the comments with any problems or issues in the future, but for now they seem like a good upgrade and hopefully I won't have to change them for a long time.